Today we're learning the third law of exponents called the quotient rule. The quotient rule states that if you divide a to the power of m divide by a to the power of n, the answer is a to the power of m minus n, which means you keep the same base a and subtract the powers m and n. Here are the examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Simplify. Your answer should only contain positive exponents. Question 1. x to the 4th over x. This problem is the same thing as x to the 4th power over x to the 1st power. Using the quotient rule, we simply keep the base x and subtract the powers 4 and 1. So the answer is x to the power of 3. Question 2. m cube over m. This problem is the same thing as m cubed over m to the first. According to the quotient rule, we keep the same base m and subtract the powers 3 and 1. So the answer is m square. Question number 3. 36 n to the 6 over 4 n square. Question number 3 has numerical coefficients 36 and 4. The first thing that we need to do here is divide the coefficients 36 divided by 4, which is 9. Now let's simplify n to the 6 over n squared. Using the quotient rule, we keep the base n and subtract the powers 6 and 2. So the answer is 9n to the power of 4. Question number 4. 3m to the 3rd, n to the 4th, all over 3m, n to the 4th. The first thing that we need to do for number 4 is divide the coefficients 3 divided by 3. And that is of course 1. Now let's simplify the variable m. We have m to the 3rd divided by m to the 1st. Subtracting the powers, we have 3 minus 1 and that is 2. For the variable n, n to the 4th divided by n to the 4th, that cancels out. So the answer is 1m square or simply m square. Question 5. 4r p to the 3rd, q to the 3rd, all over qr p to the 3rd power. For this question, the denominator is the same thing as 1 qr p to the 3rd power. So the first step is to divide the coefficients, 4 divided by 1, and that is of course 4. Now let's simplify the variables starting with the variable p. We have p cubed divided by p cubed. So that cancels out p cube on top and p cube below. Next, the variable q. We have q to the third divided by q to the first. So subtracting the powers 3 and 1, that will be square. For the variable r, we have r to the first divided by r to the first. That will also cancel out. So the answer for number 5 is 4q square. Thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.